Well, if you're a singer, songwriter, or a musician, lead singer in a band, backup singer, whatever, you've probably have seen one of these on stage before. Oh, man. I don't know about you, but I cannot stand a songbook. But it works, and uh, it does the job. But if you want to take it to the next level, have a cleaner look on stage, I'm going to show you how to get a nice system for $500 or below. $500 or below, based on 2016 prices, okay? Okay. First thing is uh, we're starting from scratch. You may have some of this equipment already, but if not, this is a air turn ghost stand, 50 bucks. Uh, it'll get pretty tall, so regardless of your height, it'll do the job. Um, it is a little bit on the anybody can knock it over side. You know what I mean? Um, it certainly isn't drunk proof. I will say that a couple of times during the video. If you play in nightclubs. You're just not going to beat that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but if you want it to look nicer, uh, I like this system. I, I'm not a big fan of having my microphone stand with a clamp on it with one of these things on it. So I opted to have a separate one. The clamp is uh, is different. This is the kind that screws right on the top. You can't get these where they're, you know, they'll hook on your, your microphone stands or they'll clamp right on the side. I prefer to have it threaded. And uh, I went through a couple of them. They're all in the neighborhood of mid forty dollars to sixty dollars the ones i was looking at this one was around fifty dollars forty seven dollars something like that and there's the box for it right there it is also an air turn product and it's pretty much universal it'll fit just about any cell phone or tablet out there now considering uh you want to keep it in a budget friendly price and a good size tablet I opted to go with the 10.1 Wi-Fi Samsung Galaxy Tab A. Now, if you're an Apple fan, you're going to blow that budget out of the water right there on that. But caught this one on sale around $250, maybe higher in the region you are. And if you're watching this, certainly past um, you know September 2016. You know, who knows how far advanced the tablets are? But as of right now. That's on sale for $250, retails for around, well, it usually sells for $299. And then I um, also caught this on sale. This is usually about $70. I bought, bought it for $50. And uh, so far, I, you know, it is what it is. Case, I didn't really include the case in it. Um, this is not an auto box case. Unfortunately, the only auto box cases I could find uh, right now, the cameras are here on the case. So I had to find an aftermarket one. Uh, on eBay, so that was probably 20, 20 bucks or something like that. So let's uh, put this sucker on the stand over here, and I'll show you really briefly how this works. I'm trying to do it all in one video so there's no editing involved. Can you see that? All right. All right, so... You know, I've got your tablet here. Remember, this is not drunk proof, so regardless of how proof it is, um, it's just not going to be I'm drunk proof. So when you have those people come up on stage, <laughs> you know, you know what's going to happen. All right, so I'm using Lyric Pad as an app. I purchased the app, so that's around five dollars. Uh, certainly, there's some apps out there. Let me turn these lights off. Hold on. Certainly, some of these apps. A little bit more pricey. Uh, this was a five dollar app. There's a free version out there if you let's say the five dollars. Okay. So what I've done is I have uh, I've, I'm just kind of going to this. So it's not like my songbook is complete. Um, it's just got a very small portion of the material that um, that my band plays. Okay. So what I did is just created um, most of the songs that we'll be performing in our next show. So um, we'll do that later. So what we're going to do, um, well, I'll give you a quick, real quick rundown on this gizmo. Um, you got your, uh, you know, your, your lyrics are here. So you manage your lyrics. 
Um, you can search for lyrics, create new lyrics. You can edit your lyrics. But what we're going to do, we're going to go to, um, first thing we're going to do is, we've already synced this, and I'll, I'll show you how to sync in another video. But basically, you turn it on. And um, it should sync pretty quickly. Did it sync? I think it is. All right, so let's open a set list. And as you can see, I only have uh, um, the next show that I have lined up, or we have lined up, Crazy Bull, 92416. So this is what we're looking at for this particular show uh, as it stands right now. You know, we're starting off with, uh, with a cover or two, and then we're gonna get down here and do some of our original stuff off the new album. But what, what I'll basically do is I'll put everything on one page. Now you can either, you can do your Bluetooth uh, page turner a couple of different ways. The way I've done it is uh, I just want everything on one page and then as I step on it, it should go to the next song. See, I went right to the next song. Now, if you, you set it up where the words are really, really big and you want to scroll down, you can sync it where to do that. So but with this particular one, uh, you're only going to go either uh, forward or back, up or down. And so what, we're, what I've chosen to do is just go by the song. Now, I'll probably go in there and increase the size of this, this song lyric a little bit bigger. Um, for whatever reason, it's a little bit small to me. And then at the end of that song, I just hit the next one with my foot, and there you go. And uh, it'll keep on going. Uh, there's no lyrics here because this is one of our, my band's original songs, Locking Hubs. You can find that on iTunes, uh, Aces and Eights. And um, the next song, uh, Shifting Gears, is also on um, iTunes. Um, and, and, and Long Train Running, Doobie Brothers, goes to another cover song. Now, I, I will tell you that um, the, the problem I'm having with this particular, I, I believe it's the app, you can't go back. I don't know what that's all about. Even here, there is no back button, and I don't know if that's a default setting in the app or not, and I don't know why that is. Um, but if you want, if you, you know, went too far, you stepped on it a couple of times, you would actually have to go back, pick up the last song that you did. Uh, and let's say you went over two songs. Oh, I want to do long train running. And then we skipped. Oh my goodness. We're on the Grange. Uh, you'd have to jump back, go back to long train running and pick it back up. Now, I don't know why that is. If that's a default setting, um, that's going to be a real reason to, for me to probably get tired of this app to be honest with you but i'm not going to down lyric pad it's it's been a good one and i've got five dollars in the pad and some of the other ones are a little bit higher and uh, so far so good now i can make these lyrics bigger and i can make them uh different colors and change the background but so far that works for me if you rotate you can actually rotate this this clamp is universal it'll spin and it'll, you know you can do whatever you want with it if you do that then um you know, you can make the lyrics wider on a 10 inch and then you can go up and down. Uh, I don't really use the lyrics that much, to be honest with you. I use it for reference more than anything. Um, it seems like it's a good safety harness to have on stage. And if I blow lyrics, I just, well, it's just part of the show. It's just like playing the wrong chord. It happens. But it's a good reference if you're trying to be uh, exactly precise. And, uh, you know, you do four hours. It's a lot of lyrics to remember. I tend to use lyrics more uh, on newer songs or if we're not playing a lot. Like with my band, we play we play a lot of covers, but we don't play them every show. We do a lot of originals. And uh, when we go out and do, I would probably say half our, our shows a year are three quarters of original material and the other half are uh, a mixture of the both. I don't think we do any shows where it's just all covers. We do a lot of our, our original stuff and then we mix some you know, covers in it. Uh, now, if we're playing like a three or four hour club scene, we're going to do a lot of originals. But a lot of the shows we do, you know, we're playing for 45 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes at the most. And at that point, you know, I should know my own lyrics because um, that's what we're, you know, faced with. But this is a, this is a good unit uh, for the money. So all this is retail, uh, or all this was probably under $500. Now, if you don't catch it on sale and you don't do your shopping, 
and you, you figure in ship and handling it might alter that um, and like I said you can you can sync this two or two or three different ways where you can go up or down I chose just to go to the next song yeah it's easy tough and uh, I'll show you how to sync this in another tutorial right now uh, I hope this was informative rock on peace out and support live music this weekend thanks